Yes, sir. Hi. Welcome, everyone. We're going to pull a motor today. Assemblies, parts. You can tell by the size of my thumb how big this assembly actually is. It's probably about an inch and a quarter thick. I can double check the actual measurements for you guys. So now, it's gonna go something like that. The swim deck on my boat is different from the actual mini jet version. Right, so what I have to do now is cut it out and see where it's all going to fit with the stomp grate. I'm having a feeling that, that actual skid plate assembly might not work, but hopefully I could still utilize it somehow. Um, but we'll find out. Wonderful. I would just try to score it a little bit more right there. And there if you can. Fits up nice, it's tacked in from the bottom. Drain plugs are in good. We got our holes drilled for the pump adapter. Now I'm gonna drill the hole for the actual pump assembly. Basically, we trace out this guy here, cut it out, bolt it up. Basically what I'm going to do now is do a pretty good thorough cleaning around the intake on the base material and on the actual machine faces itself. Uh, just because aluminum does create a scale after a certain amount of time and um, you got to make sure you get that off. You get really black gross looking welds and 
Not only that, uh, it makes it harder to weld it. It doesn't like to accept the outside material as well and as for your filler material. And um, on the actual print itself, it, it says to use a 4000 series wire. So I'm actually running 4043 aluminum wire. Um, it seemed to be welding pretty good when I did my test uh, test sample. So uh, basically now what we'll do is uh, do a good cleaning, make sure I got my ventilation system on because I am in a boat and I don't want it to fill up full of uh, argon and have a hard time breathing. So now the goal for today is to go and kind of figure out what we can do with this guy. We're not going to be getting too, too far on it today, but hopefully we can get some stuff figured out, maybe design the engine mounts for it for the new boat. Hopefully we can get some snow melted out of here. Why don't you uh, take a shovel and shovel that all into the CNC table? I'll push it a little bit closer for you. So the whole purpose of this was to tarp the motor and it did not tarp the motor? Yep. speed tie oh it's probably for the like a tow rope oh maybe i don't know it said speed tie i don't know you're asking the wrong person My feet are freezing. Mine are sweating. How is this freezing? You're in a shop. Yeah, but I was getting the fan.
right. What do we have here? We got a motor. Probably not ideal having this thing on my head. I feel like I bounce my head around a lot. This was for under the fuel? Interesting. Okay, well I did some digging and it seems like we could probably just get it out since we don't actually have any of the jet drive or anything in. We're not worried about keeping anything aligned because we're taking the whole thing out, we're putting it in a jet boat. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So in there you can see the drive shaft. The only thing that's really holding it, I think, is the tight um, fit up for the actual drive shaft itself. So what I'm gonna try and do is Hopefully hook just like a ratchet strap up to the forklift and pull the sea um hull back. And hopefully that will give us enough room to go forward with the motor, therefore pulling shaft out. If not, maybe I'll just cut it. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what to do. So here's where we're at so far. So this sea um a little bit of a backstory on it. It was bought and I bought it down in Windsor. So I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Uh, basically, I guess this thing was tied to a dock and as waves came in, I think the owner was out of town in Florida or something. And as the waves were coming in, it smashed against the dock, smashing the handlebars off, ripping the ropes off the dock. Uh, did a number of damage to the sea to itself and then it was washed up on shore. So what I'm really hoping for is no major uh, issues with the motor. It was pulled out of the water pretty quickly from what I understand. So if basically only having to replace the computer and the little things, that'd be great. So I figured out the culprit of why the motor was not coming out. Let's have this amazing idea earlier to take a break from trying to pull the motor out and go and work on something else for a little bit. And it worked because I figured out why. Uh, so there's actually a hose connected in the bottom. I couldn't see it because it was all covered in this dirt and whatnot. So I got to unhook that little gear clamp down in there. And then basically it should come out with the drive shaft still in. So it's kind of what I'm banking on. I really want that to happen. Out of CD. Happy camper. How is the snow not melted yet? A couple of those hooks might come in handy later on. The boat build. I'll decide. I'll bring you for dinner. I'll bring you for dinner. Going out. I'm not it's called McDonald Boutique. I'm not spending any more money on Don't stupid shit. Oh my god. Wait a sec. 
Oh, okay, good. For a minute there, I thought there was oil spewing out the bottom. Like, no. <laughs> Is that ratchet strap on the ground? Alyssa. <laughs> you left my toolbox open. is out and looking sexy. I wonder how this is actually supposed to come out. Oh, there it is. What? That tab just pulled back for the snap ring. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.